representative wa Bomet County can you give her the mic Uh, thank you very much, Madam Speaker, uh, for giving me this chance to also uh, congratulate the Committee on Labor and Social Welfare for this uh, very wonderful bill on um, the Community Group Registration Bill uh, uh, number 20 of 2020. Uh, Madam Speaker, this bill has come at the right time. A number of colleagues have talked over the same and I want to say Madam Speaker indeed we've been undergoing a number of challenges on the issue of giving funds to these groups and sometimes even the ministry uh, under co on, or experienced numerous challenges while trying to effectively respond to the needs of these groups. Madam Speaker more so where conflicts, leadership wrangles, misappropriation of group resources and assets have occurred, unregulated re re registrations and management of community groups has led to the weak complaints and grievances, redress mechanisms. This has also in some instances led to exclusion, marginalization and exploitation of vulnerable uh, members of the society. Madam Speaker, I want to say that the bill will assist us in terms of curing the registration of the community groups. Those are groups for people living with disabilities, groups, the youth groups, the women groups, and other uh, 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 big groups like the CPOs, the community-based organization. Madam Speaker, I also want to thank the committee for also seeing the sense of bringing this bill that will also provide the regulations of the community groups, including the general objects of the community groups, the appointment and the roles of the office bearers, which sometimes becomes a problem in terms of how they operate. Sometimes you give them funds, they go round and round in terms of uh, fighting over the same, and I want to say this bill will assist us to resolve those issues dispute resolutions, registration of the community groups and obligations to maintain the confidentiality of the members' details. Furthermore, Madam Speaker, there is also the issues of uh, provisions of financial matters relating to community groups. Madam Speaker, this includes maintenance of the records. Sometimes you can fund a group and if you don't have proper records as an office, you will end up even giving the same group again uh, 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 the resources to an extent that other groups will be disadvantaged. Madam Speaker, I don't want to, uh, uh, to say much, but I also want to thank the committee for uh, looking into the submissions that was given from various stakeholders, including the Minister of Social Welfare, the Ministry of Interior and Coordination of National Government, the Council of Governors, though the next Council of Governors never gave their views, and even the non-governmental organizations uh, coordination board, which have also chipped in in terms of assisting our uh, numerous groups within our regions. Madam Speaker, I don't want to say much, but I also want to say that uh, the bill is very, very important uh, because it will be assisting us in providing regulatory framework for the registration, management and regulations of the community groups in the country.